Hello everyone. I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about power quality measurement. We will discuss about test location, number of test location, duration of test location, instrument setup and guidelines for the instrument setup. First we see the test location while identifying power quality issues the location for the test to be measured that is very important the first step in solving power quality problems is to determine the test location or locations setting up instrumentation at a location that is not optimum with respect to the affected equipment can yield misleading or insufficient information. Even the best available power quality instrumentation is only as good as the personnel using it. The best approach to investigating power quality problems is to first examine the power quality to the affected equipment at a point as close as possible to the equipment. So while identifying the power quality issues, the very important location that must be as close as possible to the affected equipment. If power quality anomalies are noticed then move upstream with a process of elimination plan that is at each location determine if the problem is due to load side anomalies or line side problems. Now at the same time number of test locations are very important. Power quality test should be conducted at multiple locations simultaneously. Even though this process is time consuming and perhaps cost ineffective, but sometimes valuable information can be obtained. If simultaneous monitoring is not feasible due to cost or other factors, each location may be individually monitored taking care to ensure similar operating environment for testing at each location to allow direct comparison of information. So similar situation or similar operating environment while testing each location that is very important. Suppose for example here we can see that uh, if we have power quality problems found at point C but not at point B then there is no meaning of conducting test at point A. But in other case if we found power quality issues at point C as well as at point B then it is almost mandatory to carry out the testing procedure at point A as well as at point D also. Test location, number of test locations as well as the important is test duration. It is very important that uh, how long we carry out our testing procedure. Ideally, one would want to continue test until the actual cause source up. This may not be feasible and the approach can be quite costly. So as a general rule, it is necessary to test each location for at least one week unless results definitely indicate power quality issues at the location that could be causing problems. 
in such a case the interval could be shortened understanding and solving power quality problem is rarely a quick and easy it is always a long process the number of test location would depend on the nature of the problem and nature of the affected equipment and for a large facility with multiple transient sources and susceptible equipment the challenge can be immense now regarding instrument setup setting up instruments to collect power quality data is probably the most critical aspect of testing and also one that most often can decide the end results in the majority of the cases power to electrical equipment cannot be turned off to allow for instrument setup personal protective equipment is an important component of power quality testing minimum personal protecting equipment should contain electrical gloves safety glasses and fire retardant clothing and some guideline for setting up the instruments it is preferred that voltage and current probe leads do not run in close proximity to high current cables or bus especially if they are subject to large current inrush sometime it may be possible that inductively induced emf is generated in the probes and it will give a misleading information voltage and current lead run parallel to high current bus or cable should be avoided or minimized to reduce the possibility of the noise pickup when connecting voltage probes the connections must be secure loose connections are prone to intermittent contact which can produce false indication of power quality problems leads with damaged insulation or those that look suspect must be promptly replaced to avoid dangerous condition while making current measurement one of the main cause of error is improper closing of the jaws of the probe sometime because of improper closing of the jaws there might be air gap in the current probe and that gives a, a result with certain errors it is important to keep the test location well guarded and secured to prevent unauthorized access the test location must be secured with barrier taps or other means to warn people of the possible hazards if power distribution panels or switchboards are monitored all openings created as the result of the instrument setup should be sealed to prevent entry by rodents and other pets so this is all about uh, power quality measurement thank you for watching my video keep watching thank you very much